so hi again, everyone. Uh, my name is Michael, and we're going to be taking a look at another question from our sprint round earlier today, sprint number 28. And this question reads, the product of a pair of positive whole numbers is 91 more than twice their sum. What is the sum of all possible sums of this pair of numbers? So let's say that we have the two numbers A and B. Then this first sentence tells us that AB is equal to 91 plus 2 times the quantity A plus B. Now what we can do is we can uh, distribute this two and move every move all the variables to the left hand side. That gives us a b minus two a minus two b equals ninety one. Now looking at this, right, we want to find all possible values of a and b. And what we're going to do is something that's called Simon's favorite factoring trick or SFFT. And what we're going to um, utilize this method for is to uh, turn the uh, left-hand side into a product of two binomials. So we'll factor out a times b minus 2. We have minus 2 times b equals 91. Now what we're going to do is turn this also into, also into a b minus 2, excuse me, so that we can then factor by grouping. But if we do that, right, then we have added negative 2 times negative 2 or a positive four to the left-hand side of the equation. And to maintain equality, we have to do that to the right-hand side as well. We factor out the left-hand side, now we get a minus two times b minus two, right, is equal to 95. And looking at this, right, we can now see that a minus two and b minus two have to be a factor pair of the number 95. So if, and we can note, right, that we all, that it also has to be a positive factor pair. Because if we have negative numbers, then the only pairs possible are negative 1 and negative 95, or negative 5 and negative 19, both of which would result in a uh, negative value for at least one of A and B. So now we can either have A minus 2 equals 1 and B minus 2 equals 95, or uh, which yields A equals 3, B equals 97. Or we can have a minus 2 equals 5 and b minus 2 equals 19. So that would give us a equals 7 and b equals 21. So that means the two possible sums of these, uh, the pair of numbers that we started with a and b is either 100 or 28. And the sum of these two sums is going to be 128, which gives us answer choice E. Hey, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.